Hey guys, I'm here today we are back on Sims 4. Now this is something a little bit different because I thought, sorry, just adjusting my microphone. <clears throat> I thought just do some normal gameplays and the Realm of Magic just came out. So I thought, why not get straight into that? So here we go. So I've got this lovely lady right here who is Sienna Christo and we've also got our cat which seems to have run oh there it is we got a little uh, pixel there uh, so hopefully so hopefully once we get Sienna into the spellcasting ways we can get pixels to be our little familiar right I am literally right by the uh, the portal, so let's go into the portal, Sienna. Welcome. Oh my god. Now we can't go in because we got the welcome wagon. Well, we might as well just say hello. So let's just go through her uh, um, traits. So we got art lover because I thought we might need a way of income. So we can get her to do some painting, which reminds me that I haven't actually put in a easel for her. Which is really helpful. <laughs> uh, we got a, as bookworm because we, we've also got to read all these tomes and stuff, and it's a good way to get. Um... Oh, it's over already, is it? <laughs> um, and it's a good way to get fun. And we've also got genius because we want her to be the best spellcaster. It's not witches. Uh, in the land. I have played around with um, Realm of Magic a little bit and I really really enjoy it. I, I didn't think I would enjoy it so much but I really do. It's so cool. Um, and I know that I could just get f one of the characters from Phil Life to be a spellcaster but I just wanted to do something a little bit different and get some different uh, characters down into this channel so right where are the stages oh there's one come here Morgan I know that's your name okay so we do need to actually befriend one of the sages to actually become a, uh, a spellcaster so let's get to know him a bit. Now I do actually quite like the untamed magic part of uh, Rama magic. I think that's, although the, it's no, got what, practical, the practical magic is pretty um, good as well. I think we're almost there to friend, yep there we go. So we made a new friend. Ask how to use magic. So we do have uh, L. Is L. Laba or L. L. Faba? Uh, who's the mischief? I was learning the magical arts is a wonderful and perilous journey. Are you sh sure you want? To are you sure you are prepared to become a spellcaster? I was born ready. Uh, so we need to collect fa uh, seven magical moats which are around the place so let's go around and collect some of them we got some people dueling out here i haven't actually um explored what moats do yet so that's going to be interesting to find out five six oh we got eight but that's fine where's he gone morgan there he is. Turn in moats. Come on Sienna. There we go. And I think that's it. We can become a spellcaster now. Ta-da! <laughs> so, ask to teach untamed magic. So we can, whoop, we can learn a spell. So that's that milestone complete. Uh, so we need to learn a few more spells so we can actually talk to him again. 
Plentiful needs, that's a good one to get started with. That one's really helpful. And let's search for tomes. We have a bit of money, so we could go and get a familiar, get... I'm not really a fan of ones. I don't know why, I just, I just find it cooler that you can use magic without wands. So I'm not going to get a wand. I know you can collect them. <laughs> Inferniate, okay. That's an interesting one to, to get. You need the toilet, so go to the toilet. Right, you've got a thing of plentiful needs. Drink that. Now I have come into contact with curses and they are not fun. Um, <laughs> at all. Um, the one I've come across the most is the one that makes you look ugly. I don't know why I've come across it the most. I've also come across the one where everyone wants to fight you. That's also fun. Oh, we've got an upper thing. Okay. Right. Uh, so. So we need to become a, level, a rank 2 acolyte. Which won't be too hard, hopefully. Uh, so reason does computer research at a faster rate. So I'm guessing we go for that one. Because I want the... the he I want this one. Hexproof. Because I don't want to be cursed. I've just seen this chandelier. That's really cool. I like that. There's so many cool um, items in this uh, game pack. So much cool stuff in this game pack. Um, I love it. So we can still see the moats. Ah, the moats have gone. <laughs> right, let's see. Where are the other stages? Hello. So let's let's just befriend. Where are you going? Oh, are you going upstairs? Okay, that's. <laughs> Just get magical signals. Meet upstairs. Let's meet upstairs. Right, this guy is the practical magic guy. Let's not get into a duel just yet. Not with a, a virtuoso or however you say it. Okay, so we befriended him. So let's ask to teach practical magic. Oh, he's a geek. Being yeah, a geek is cool. Geeks are cool. Where are you going? Let's ask for magical training. And then we'll go and see the uh, mischief lady. Where is she? She's usually downstairs. No? Oh, there she is. She's hidden. <gasps> Free familiar. Oh, <gasps> we got a free familiar? Ah, oh. Right, let's come down and meet her. Oh, you have the potion of good fortune. And let's ask to teach mischief magic. And ask for magical training. What have we got? Desperio. It's going up pretty quickly if I... I do this on myself. And you need the toilet, that's... Um, actually, what I'll do is get you to go to the toilet and then we'll go and get a broom, because brooms are so helpful. So we'll go to Castle's Alley. This place is so cool as well. Right, let's get you a broom. Uh. You could totally go for the magic mop. Uh, crafted from ancient trees of the magic realm. Sure, we'll go for that one. What familiars are here? Let's see. Bunny, butterfly, raven, or the skull. Well, I've got the dragon, so I'm not really that fussed. And I will take some apples and a cherry, a few cherries. Okay, let's head home. And it's a thunderstorm, that's really helpful. Right, go 
cook something. I swear, every time that I'm here, it's raining or blizzard or something. Oh, and I've made her house kind of like a one of those wagon kind of things. It's a wagon, isn't it? Kind of like gypsy wagon. It's not really that gypsy wagon ish, but it's close enough. <laughs> it's a star time, okay. Cat, what are you doing? I'm just going to call you Cat. You're not going to have to be called Pixel at any time. So I want to bind you as a familiar Chris. Uh, pi <laughs> Pixel. I'm going to get these names mixed up. Calmingly. Why are you agitated, Pixel? I'm literally just going to call you Cat. That's all I'm going to do. Apparently, you can. Um, cats and dogs, if you bind them as your familiars, they will go out and collect food. Uh, ingredients and stuff for you but I don't actually I haven't actually seen that yet and you might have to be like a, a best friend with them or something for that to come up but other than that I don't I haven't seen it so they're both asleep now we can really fast forward so I'm gonna leave it there guys I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode uh how'd you been I'm not really that powerful yet, so I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you like this video, if you liked this idea series thing, please let me know and I will continue. Not that you have much choice anyway, because I do want to continue with this. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I wish you'd stay, but there you go I have so much I wanna say to you Much I wanna say, but there's no time